What if you jumped into Lake Natron? Sounds like a refreshing dip, right? Buckle up, because we're about to explore one of the deadliest bodies of water on Earth. Where is Lake Natron? Picture this. You're in northern Tanzania, right on the border with Kenya. It's hot, it's dry, and in front of you is a lake that looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Welcome to Lake Natron. The deadly characteristics of Lake Natron. Now, let's break down what makes this lake so special. And by special, we mean terrifyingly deadly. Lake Natron is what scientists call an alkaline lake. But we're not talking about your average alkaline water that health nuts drink. No, this lake takes alkaline to the extreme. Its pH level can reach up to 10.5. To put that in perspective, it's almost as alkaline as ammonia. Yeah, the stuff you use to clean your toilet. The water temperature, it can reach a toasty 60 degrees Celsius. That's 140 Fahrenheit for you Americans out there. That's hot enough to give you third degree burns in seconds. Alarming, right? Oh, and did we mention the lake is full of sodium carbonate and other mineral salts? It's like a witch's brew of chemicals that would make any mad scientist proud. What happens if you jump in? So, what if you, for some crazy reason, decided to take a dip in this toxic soup? Let's break it down, step by terrifying step. Initial contact, the moment your toes touch the water, you'd feel an intense burning sensation. It's not just hot, it's chemically burning your skin. Ouch, it doesn't even begin to cover it. As you wade deeper, the burning intensifies. Your skin starts to feel like it's being eaten away because it is. The highly alkaline water is literally dissolving the outer layers of your skin. Diving in. Now, let's say you're really committed to this bad idea, and you dive in. As the water hits your face, you'd feel an excruciating pain in your eyes. The alkaline solution would start to break down your corneas almost immediately. If you opened your eyes underwater, you could be blinded within minutes. Swimming. As you start swimming, you'll notice the water feels oddly thick and slippery. That's because it's full of sodium carbonate decahydrate, which forms a mineral called natron. It's like swimming through a lake of thick, caustic soap, swallowing water. Now, here's where things get really nasty. If you accidentally swallow any of this water droplet, and let's face it, who doesn't swallow a little water when swimming? You're in for a world of hurt. The alkaline solution would start burning your mouth, throat, and esophagus. It could cause severe damage to your internal organs if you swallow enough. Prolonged exposure, and luckily you manage to stay in this lake for over a few minutes. Your skin would continue to break down, potentially leading to deep chemical burns. Your hair, say goodbye to it. The alkaline solution would dissolve the keratin in your hair, effectively melting it off your scalp. The aftermath. Now, if you're thinking, well, I'll just shower it off when I get out. I've got bad news for you. The chemical burns would continue even after you leave the water. You'd need immediate medical attention to neutralize the alkaline solution and treat the burns. But here's the kicker. Even if you survived this insane swim, you might wish you hadn't. The long-term effects could include permanent skin damage, potential blindness, and damage to your internal organs. It's the gift that keeps on giving in the worst possible way, the deadly habitat. Now, you might be wondering, if it's so deadly, why hasn't the lake killed everything around it? Well, it kind of has. The shores of Lake Natron are often littered with the corpses of animals that made the mistake of entering its waters. Birds, in particular, are frequent victims. They see the lake's reflective surface, think it's a nice place to land, and, well, you can guess the rest. Life finds a way, but nature always finds a way, doesn't it? Despite its deadly reputation, Lake Natron is home to some extremophile organisms, creatures that have adapted to live in extreme conditions. There's a species of fish called alkaline tilapia that somehow manages to survive in the less alkaline parts of the lake, and millions of flamingos use the lake as a breeding ground. 
feeding on the algae that thrive in this hostile environment. Flamingos and beta carotene. Speaking of flamingos, want to know something cool? It's the lake's unique chemistry that gives flamingos their pink color. The algae they eat are loaded with beta carotene, which turns their feathers that iconic flamingo pink. So, weirdly, this deadly lake is responsible for one of nature's most fabulous fashion statements. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, and yes, even to lakes that can dissolve you, Earth never ceases to amaze. It's also a stark reminder of the power of nature. In a world where we often think we've tamed our environment, places like Lake Natron show us that nature still has plenty of tricks up its sleeve. So, next time you complain about your local pool being too cold or having too much chlorine, just remember, it could be worse, much, much worse. That's it for this terrifying trip to Lake Natron. If this video made you think twice about your next swim, hit that like button and subscribe to Think Beyond for another wild Think Beyond. And hey, leave a comment telling us what you'd do if you found yourself on the shore of Lake Natron. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and maybe stick to swimming pools.